Season two of the Mayans MC is ready for launch. We're talking to the stars. We're hoping a lot of them made it. Here they are. Are you going to make it past season two? We think so. <laughs> you are the best. One of the nicest guys in show business, but you play a mean, tough some of my mama. Wow, some of my mama. You hear that? You hear that? I never heard that. Well, that's good. Uh, you know, uh, uh, keeping it clean. We're keeping it clean. Right? Keeping okay. it clean for the kiddos. Right on. You know, um, you know what, man? You know, when you've seen so much stuff that I've seen in my life, um, it, it, it's you just want to be cool. You dig what I'm saying? So then, when you get to play some of that stuff, you got you know how it really is in real life. So you got to be more, even more cool. You dig what I'm saying? Because you know, at least you know when we play it out here in the TV, they say cut and we all hug each other, even though we're enemies on the show. But in enemies in real life, it don't work that way. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, it's just better. You know what? Just love each other, man. It's so much easier. You know what I mean? You know. You guys are all a bunch of lovers for murders. Right? <laughs> and, and that's what it, and that's what that's what, that's what it is. What's happening, brother? Right on. You got a lot uh, of fans, I'm sure, recognizing it, it, you in the yeah, street. Yeah, it's beautiful. But, you know, and that's the thing is, uh, uh, and then they, they feel bad to come up to you to get a picture and stuff. I say, you know what, man, without you, I ain't me. You dig what I'm saying? That's so sweet. They, 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 they come bring it in. Just come on in. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Just yeah. now, now when I'm eating, though, you know, because yeah. I, like I like my food warm. <laughs> but, 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 uh, but no, it's just, uh, it's, come on, man. You know, man. Come on, look what do we do. Yeah. And You've I, been in the game a long time, 20, and I know a lot 28 of 28 years, man. You know, and you know, but you know what? I feel like I'm just getting started. <laughs> really? I swear to God, you know, you know, and, and, and it's this show right here because you know you do it so much, and it's like it's a, it's a gig, it's a job, you know. But when I go to work with the mines, man, it's like it's like a, it's like going to a frat house. I swear to God, it's like all you got all a these frat games. house for Chicanos. Simon, you know what I'm talking about? Simon means that's right, you know. And, and you know what it is is that. Cause it's just a bunch of guys just having fun punching each other, they're running, chasing each other, and, and like they know we got five minutes, guys. Everybody just focuses and gets ready and does their work. Yeah. And then when they say cut, they're, they're you know yeah. talking shit. You know, just Richie. Now. Richie told us that if you aren't on your A game on set, then you get breaks through the oh, cold. You, you will get clowned. You will get clowned. <laughs> and that's what's cool about it. I mean, so like my best for me in my life is my family. You dig? I love being with my wife, my boy, my dogs. But then I get I get to leave home and go to my other family. I can't lose, man. You dig what I'm saying? I have a pretty damn cool. Now, what has working in this theme of border life opened your eyes to? Do you understand it differently? Have you learned something about it? You know, man, it's really sad. It's, I learned a lot of it's, it's a lot of sadness out there. You know, um, we were filming in Mexico a few times. You know, for the for the series for the season, and you know, um, it just puts things in perspective how good we have it man you dig what i'm saying we're out there and uh because you know it's not like we pretend we're in mexico here but then you know you turn around everybody has a cell phone or, you know and then you go over there and then you're out there and really there and the people that are watching it's like the biggest thing that we'll ever see and, and it's really sad you know it was good that we were over there and uh, our crew even the people that were innocent but the bystanders are just coming to watch you know a very poor neighborhood you know and we took care of them so good like somebody said tengo hambre you know and, and they go get them go get them pizza and we, we were feeding the whole town and it was so it was so like touching like it makes you want to, like, you, you get emo I, I get emotional, you know, and, and, um, to and, be able uh, to give back, like, yeah, you know, and, and um, and then I, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw a lady selling tamales, and I had, I was in costume, so I didn't have no money, so I told her, hey, bro, give me your money, and I borrowed her tamales and started, because I used to sell tamales door to door when I was a kid, to make ends meet, you dig what I'm saying, so it just brought that back to me, yeah. and she goes, no, I go, and I, I, I way overpaid her, she goes, no, 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 I go, no, I go, that bien, you know what I mean? And I just started getting her, and I said, of course I eat too myself, you know, I'm a tamale guy, you know? But, uh, but it was you just- You can't say no. I can't, no, I can't. I love my tamales, you know? And I, plus my mom made the best one, so I gotta try everybody's, you know what I'm talking? You know how it is, you know? So they still don't beat moms. That's right, well now my wife does not really she good too. She's right. really good, yeah. And, uh, and the thing is, is um, but, and then, you know what's sad is that some of the people that were there would say, you know what, you know, it's beautiful that you guys are here doing this for them, but it's probably the best meal they'll ever have. And, and that was, that was sad it, it to hear that. It hits hard. It hits hard. The it's chasm really, is big. The show shows it. Yeah. The show shows how big that chasm is. It's real. And it's sad because, you, you know, you figure, you know, you, you see all these pictures of from third world countries and you say, wow, that's sad. But then the third world country is two hours away. Yeah. You're like, you oh, that's San Diego. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. yeah. It's really sad when it's right here, man. Yeah, you know? yeah. Wow, it's just heavy, man. So it was an intense season one. You know, there's a lot of questions. Answer them all. Let's hear all the answers. You know, we we're not going to watch the whole season. We just want to know you break it down. Give us five minutes. Well, you know what? The, 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 for the first season, you know, the Kurt and uh, Elgin, they laid down the ground floor. You know, they got the foundation. And now everything's just going up. Stakes are higher. Everything. Pylons are in. Grass is growing and shit. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, the stakes are high. Do man. you murder anybody in season? I can't say nothing, man. I'm just trying to stay alive myself. Did you stay alive? I don't know. All right. 
Adelita did a double finger cross. Finger cross. I said, oh man, that means you didn't I, make I, it, girl. I, I don't know. We, I, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it. What was it. what was your most um, probing question after the end of season one? What did you want resolved? Why did I hang up my cut? <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> what happened? And you know they had, they had my bike right there, so they kind of teasing me with it. That's my real bike, you know what yeah. I mean? And then I just the bike right on the show, and, uh, and it's my own personal bike. So they're not just teased. They took it away from me. They even have it at the shop now. I don't even have it at home no more. I say, what's what? going on here, bro? I hope they're going to give you two more to uh, replace. You know, you know, I, I would take, I would take the, the the Maybach they trade me for. You know? I, I traded the, the Harley for a Bentley. Huh? I don't know. It's <laughs> kind of good, you know. It must be good to be able to have those choices. Yeah, you know, even when it's hot, you know, even the the seats are cold. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> it's a little bit different, right? That's cool, man. That's cool. Such a pleasure to see you. Congratulations. Much deserved success. Thank you so, so happy for you. Thanks for watching Red Carpet Report. We've had a great time here on the carpet. Don't miss the Mayans MC season two on FX, September 3rd. Come on through guys, everybody's excited.